Good evening, everybody. Big news from the West Side today. After months of discussion, it is now official. USI is moving from Division Two to Division One. It was a unanimous vote from the Board of Trustees today, 9-0 in favor of the move. Now, USI will now formally petition the NCAA for the move and begin playing Division One in all sports next school year. Joining me now to discuss this historic day in Evansville, USI men's basketball head coach Stan Gerard, USI baseball head coach Tracy Archuleta. Guys, first of all, uh, thanks for the time tonight. Arch, I want to start with you. Just because you have, uh, I guess, seniority uh, out there on the west side, your program has been so successful over the last 15 to 20 years, a pair of Division II national championships. I want your thoughts on what it will be like from moving to D2, where you guys are a perennial national championship contender, over to, over to D1. What are the differences and just your thoughts on that? Um. First of all, sorority. Hey, Stan's older than me. First of all, so, hey, let's get that on uh, get that on record. First of all, but uh, it's exciting. It's exciting times for us uh, as a university. Uh, looking forward to you know to to what's ahead of us. Uh, and you know uh, we've had a we've had success at the Division Two level, uh, but looking forward to uh, what's ahead at the Division One. And and no, we have a lot of work to do yet, but uh, excited about this transition. Stan, now for you, ever since that new arena, that shiny new arena has been built, folks have been talking about the move to D1, and, and especially in a school like at USI, basketball is one of the main, main driving factors. I know you, you have to be excited about the opportunity to, to move to D1, and of course that ultimate goal for, for you guys now will be a conference championship and an NCAA tournament bid. Absolutely. You know, um, we, we have the infrastructure in place from, from a basketball standpoint. I know there's work to do. Uh, with other sports, but you know, speaking uh, from a basketball standpoint and volleyball as well, uh, we have things in place to attract some quality student athletes to help us uh, chase championships at the next level. And uh, I'm really excited to be a part of that. Arch, back to you. It's a four year transition period now. I, I want both of you guys to answer this, but we'll start with Arch. How difficult is it going to be to recruit athletes now? You're sure you're going to be selling the, the Division I, uh, you know, the division, everything to go with the Division I, but is it going to be difficult to, to recruit when these guys know that they're not going to be able to play for a, a NCAA championship, NCAA bid for possibly four years now? You know, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be a, a tough, but, uh, you know, what we have here at the University of Southern Indiana, our campus, uh, what we can offer the student athletes, uh, not only uh, on the baseball field, but also academically is definitely going to be a, a big component for us, to, you know, to be able to make this transition. And I think, you know, when you when you talk about it, uh, it's, you know, it's that first team, that 2023 team is going to be, you know, that first team that helps us with this transition. And I think uh, that we have to sell that, you know, of, uh, of helping us, uh, you know, get get to that right process and, and be able to make an impact uh, in uh, whatever conference we end up in. And uh, hopefully, you know, can compete for maybe conference championships, uh, you know, in them in the first four years. Stan, we have 30 seconds left. Uh, you're going to be and, playing and conference coach, games. Uh, uh, coach beginning. Hit the nail on the head. You know, we have so many things to offer here. And it, is it going to be tough? Yes. But uh, I'm a firm believer if, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And uh, we have so many things to offer here. Uh, great uh, academic programs, great coaches, great administration, and great facilities to help us, you know, get to that next level. And, and just being part of history for anyone at this point, you know, that's going to be one of our main selling points to be part of a, a transition that will be talked about in the years to come. Guys, as always, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for giving me a couple minutes tonight. Best of luck, congratulations, and I know we've spent a lot of time with you guys over the next couple of weeks as we get ready to, uh, to cover you guys moving to Division One.